Hello, welcome to Lance Reithmeyer Art on YouTube. Uh, I'm Lance Reithmeyer, and thanks for checking out the channel today. I appreciate it. Again, thanks for all the subscriptions, the likes, and shares, and comments. I, I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you want to see more videos, uh, go ahead and hit the subscription button, and uh, they should pop up when, when I post new stuff. Typically, I'm going to try to start posting on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays in the morning. So, um, But today's video is going to be on this 5x7 acrylic uh, mountainscape that I did and I did this while I was away at work and uh, turned out really good then the sound I thought turned out really good so there's some good stuff in it so I hope you enjoy the video and again thank you for all the support on the channel and uh, have a wonderful day bye now okay hope everybody's doing good today we're gonna just do a little painting and this is kind of how I like to relax so just sketched out a little mountain scene here. Give it a little blast from about a foot away. I'm gonna grab some of this blue, Russian or phthalo blue. Excuse me, phthalo blue. Okay, get some more thinner there. Come in and grab some white. Okay, put some white right here. Hopefully, I didn't. There. Okay. White going because I don't want it too bright. That's there we go. Okay, got one more white, and this is just going to be a fun little guy. I'm going to come up here and start back and forth. Just put in the sky so you can hear that. Pop that in there if you need to. Put some more blue up in the top. Okay, I'm just going to work it down. I'm going to get a little more spraying with this ways away. Okay, come down here. We want it lighter. Get it mixed in the brush. There we go. Hopefully you can see that okay. Um, this is just a good way to end the night if you're, helps you fall asleep or if you want to learn how to paint. This is fun. Okay. Yeah, I'm using more white towards the bottom because as you get close to the horizon, I'm just kind of rubbing that in there. As you get closer to the horizon, you want it to kind of get lighter. It looks better. You don't need much paint at the bottom because you already have white on there, right? Okay. I'm going to try to go, go fast here because this is a good way to try to get yourself relaxed or if you're just having a rough day and you want to come in and do something like this this is a five by seven okay you can grab more white down here and really get aggressive if it's wet okay tap it in there like that if you need to get a little push whatever and then you can blend it in there simple I have to get rid of all those peaks because we're going to come in and put a little mountain range in there. I was, in, I was walking by a vehicle this weekend and they had this painting on the side of their car. It looked like a digital painting, but it was just a sticker. And it looked really cool. So I thought, I better take this and get a picture of it. And I'm kind of using it as my reference picture. Okay, it had water, some general mountains. But I like the long mountainscape that's in it, so, okay, and I'm just kind of bringing some of that up. There. I don't even know if we're going to have to really blend this much with the blender brush. We can. I have one over here. I'll grab this here, and this is dry, okay, and we're just going to come in and maybe add a little more dark right up here, okay, pull it over corners let it kind of get lighter as you go down and then you can take this brush here pure dry this is just a little oval mop okay that's what it is we're gonna start down here and just kind of come to the side it's got to be dry okay I'm just going to kind of lightly just let it drag okay and this is acrylics and they can be challenging you get too much flip it over Flip it over and just there. Okay. 
There's your sky. Simple, easy way to put a sky in. Okay. And I just wash my, just using this. Okay. Wash that out. There. Dry it off on these blue mat, these blue, okay. Blue shop rags work good because they, they're wonderful. Okay. Squeeze it out and then wipe it off. I got one on each side. And you can use them over and over again. They don't, uh, they work good. There's my chair. Okay, put that there. I'm going to let that dry a little bit because I was thinking of putting some clouds in. But I'm going to have to wait for a little bit because the clouds, um, squeeze that out. The clouds need to be, it helps if it's drier. So we're going to come in. And I don't know, I'm going to use this one. I have a lot of small brushes with me as usual, but I was, I'm going to create a mountain color, a base color. So I'm going to take that blue, add a little of this, and some brown there. Okay. Come in there. A little white in there. Right over here. Looks pretty good. Okay. Some more blue, maybe. Down here. Blue. We'll see how that looks. We're going to come back here. I think the light's going to be coming from the left today. So I'm going to come in and start putting some darks on this side. Okay. Some more white. Grab some more white. Some more blue. It'll look better. There we go. Okay. I'm just grabbing where I think the shadow colors might be. Grab a little more brown. In there maybe a little too blue we can come back in okay I'm trying to grab the peaks remember this is a fast painting over here it's going to come down like this okay and we're just trying to grab some of the some of the colors and the shadows areas okay and pull them down out of there, maybe the shadows come down here. Now keep in mind, though, our water's going to be right in here somewhere. We can pull them down a little bit more into here. Okay, and we can always come back with our highlights. You know, we're just kind of throwing in some darks. Now, if you want a little spray, our canvas is doing good. You don't want to spray like here. You want to be about a foot away and just a quick mist. Okay, and that's a Good looking. Maybe this, you want that one to be that way, or you can get a little more. Maybe there's a little something like that. There. Okay. Now down here, let's grab some more brown and maybe our maybe over here. You know where we're gonna have our water. It's gonna come this way. Okay, we can add a little white to that. Okay. Get down here. There we go. I like that better. Add a little lighter in there. That's pretty dark shadows. You can fix those. Okay. But that's kind of where the shadows and maybe the sun's going to be hitting on these peaks over here. Okay. Well, that looks pretty good. I'm going to stand up and take a look at it. Yeah. Just nice little mountains. Nice little mountains there. And hopefully that's working good. And you can see that good. Okay. We're going to let that dry a little. Maybe even go up and grab a little more here and make a little. Some of these can go a little bit, you know, just tips over. And we'll come in with our highlights and uh, we'll see how those go there. I'm going to knock off some color, okay? And I think for the highlights, I'm just going to use some of that brown. Bring that over here, get some white in there, okay? that I hope I'm sure we can see that I always keep doing this okay because you can use a lot of water on there and I'm gonna throw a little bit of for the highlight side and put some yellow ochre right here okay and add some yellow ochre in there this is this will look pretty good now that's a base color when we come back in but okay and then the highlights, we're just going to come this way and pull this way. Pull that down. 
That might be a little more, and you can kind of make some rough edges there. You just pull this way, okay? There, there's your highlights. Get a little more white. Like that, pull it down. Okay. Okay. Some nice yellow ochre, brown. I don't know. In here and grab there. So the sun's kind of striking, right? There. Some more yellow. You can use just almost yellow ochre in there. There's so much. Got to have these angles. And that's wet too, so it's going to be a little tough. Over here, you can let them mix. You know, we can come back in and do whatever. Just the edge are wet. You can come in and look where the sun might hit there and pull that over. Pull it down. There. So easy. Pull that over. There. Just some little areas in there. That might be too dark, so we can come in. It's a little red in there, huh? It's all right. Pull that down and just let it kind of blend in down at the bottom. We'll come back in here. And they just, see, have fun with it. We can come back in and and uh, work on them some more too. Your highlights and your shadows. and That looks pretty good from my angle. I always get kind of a, a little more of a, 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 a little, um, little bit of a, glare on it. So I'm going to try something here with a, I'm going to probably put something underneath there. Maybe lift it up just a little. Okay. So you don't get that glare. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but that looks better. Yeah. You got a little bit of more of an angle there. So there's your mountains and we can come back in and work on those. We need to let them dry a little bit though. Don't you think? Okay. Then I'm going to come back in and we're going to try to do a little bit of Maybe some little bit of clouds up in there. Okay, so I'm going to try this brush here. Just a nice little soft brush, or we could use this one too. Let's try that one. Okay, I'm going to come in and just grab some white. Put that over here. Maybe a touch of just a little bit of that, and a little bit of blue in there. Okay, see that's not too bad. We need some more white. There, that might work good. One more. There. More white. And these are just going to be easy little clouds we're going to put in. Give more of that in there. Maybe a little more of that. There we go. More white. Much more blue. There. Okay. And these might work out good. There. A lot of paint in there, okay? I'm just going to come in and kind of go do it this way today. Let's just kind of come and start sharpening these a lot there. And we just twirl them around and there. Just twisting this little guy back and forth. Okay. Go up here. See that? A little lighter up top. A little bit there and just kind of blend them in and out. Okay. Pretty easy. Yeah, I'm just kind of taking that. And keep moving. Don't hit every spot. There. Okay. Again, maybe you can get a little bit more white up top on these. Kind of see that there. See? A little bit of white up there. This is fun to do. It's easy. See? It looks like the mountains a little bit, doesn't it? Sun might be hitting them. I don't know. Just let them blend back into there, and it kind of gives you a little indication of a little, you know, things happening. Just a little have a little fun. And clouds are like crazy; they do anything, right? And then at the bottoms, you can pull them out a little bit, maybe. Comes out like that there, you know. There. Oops, there's my chair. So just an easy little mountain. And it's fun to create paintings like this because they're pretty much, you call them spur of the moment, impromptu. You just do. You got a general idea, but um, again, I'm just cleaning. 
like this. This is a plastic cup, dollar store. Dollar twenty-five store now. Is that what they are? So there, you got your little mountain range, you got that. Now we're gonna come in and get some. I'm gonna cheat and grab some of this blue. It's gonna be a good lake watercolor, right? I'm gonna come in with this, spray it. Okay, pull that out. Touch of that, not much. There we go. And that'll give us some different values in the water, but now let's come down here and just start putting the water in. It's going to match the sky. It might have a little more green in it. You can push that up. And see, this is kind of dried, so it's not going to mess us up. Okay. Light up there. Okay. And I'm going to go about a foot away. Works good. water okay go back and forth water's flat okay a little more water and you can put make it darker lighter obviously that brown in there and a little bit of red i still think this gives a little extra color it warms it up the water a little bit okay you can come this way this is a uh also a lighter blue down to the bottom you see that? Go back and forth. Easy. Yeah, a little darker at the bottom, right? Even touch a little bit of this darker blue down here. Watch this. Ready? See? And this is going to make the bottom darker. And in a landscape painting, you want to have darker, lighter, darker, lighter. And that will kind of dry your eye in. And it gives you depth. Okay? Pretty easy. There, there's our water. Walk that brush off just a little. Again, I'm just drying over here on this blue. If you want a little more white, we'll come back up here in the white. And did I get a little brown in there? I think. This is still wet. Okay. See that little bug flying around? <laughs> and then just come in here, keep it level. Kind of use your hand, blend it in there. And I think that's good enough. Okay, and you can come back in and do some little things. There's some little actions in the water. There we go. Maybe got to have light against dark, dark against light. Okay, otherwise it doesn't look right. If you just have. Come across. That looks pretty good. And you could always come in and um, just come in and maybe grab some of that color here and then just put squirrelies in the water from the clouds. Push them straight in like that. Watch. Just do this. You know, if you get your clouds in there a little bit. I'm just, this is last minute here. There. So you can see some clouds in there. Then we'll go back to this. Oh, I dropped it on the floor. Okay, come back in. This has got to be dry. Blow on it a little bit. And just come across and lightly pull it over. Don't kill all those clouds. You just want that little color in there. It gives a little idea that there's some action in the in the water too, that there's some clouds from the sky that are showing up in there. Right? That looks good. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I want to take this, and we got to get a little more of a, some kind of a water line back in here. So I'm going to do that. Maybe get a little brown and white from up here. Brown up there. A little blue. I don't know. Some brown, maybe some of this. More white. I'm going to have to load some more white on this one. We're going to come up here and see how we can just get a little water line. Okay, there, we're just going to come in and start to make it white. Get a little bit more right there at the bottom of these. A little distant water line. Hard to do. I can use a liner brush on this too. 
pull some of that up into there. Okay, we can even grab um, some of that blue. Maybe some of this blue in the ochre. Watch this. Maybe give us some green, right? I'll watch this at the base here. We can get a little green down in there, not too much. Get some brown in there. There we go. Just a little bit there. And we'll red will die and kill that down a little bit. A little green going up in there. That's getting a little closer. Boy, and you got to watch out with green. Okay. See? Yeah. There a little bit. Kind of gives you a little indication of some fun stuff there. Okay. Okay. Now what I want to do is grab some more of this, some white. And not a lot, though. Just a little white. I'm going to come up here and add a little highlights to these shadows. Okay. Not a lot, just a little bit. Because you want to have some just so dark. You don't want them that, well, maybe even a little bit of that pink in there. Yeah, see? That looks good, though. It's a little too. And just kind of bring that down. Kind of have some fun with it and blend it in. Kind of makes it stand out a little more, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know. These aren't going to be... Remember, this is a night. This is a painting to... Get you ready for the night. Need to relax. Kill all the dark. Okay. And that works pretty good. Now, we're going to come back in because it's drying on the other side too, right? We're going to come back in and grab some of that yellow ochre. You see that? We're going to come over here. Some yellow ochre. Maybe a little bit of white. Lighten it up. And then put some more of these in. Just some little, okay, little indications up in there. A little more, make it stand out. I don't want the yellow in there. Okay, and all we're gonna do is grab here and pull this way. A little light kick in there. Maybe it comes all the way over, pushes into there. Doesn't need to be perfect. We're not looking for that. We're just looking for a fun little painting. Pull those in the opposite direction. You can even pull them over more if you want to. Maybe more white the lights hitting there. Same thing here. Maybe it comes over to there. All the way down in front. White. Okay. Far away. Keep that one. A little bit over in here. It's a little farther, so oof, I don't want that much. It's going to be a little farther, so we don't want it too light. Brown that down a little bit, okay? Having some fun here. Okay, maybe another one right comes out like that. Okay, you can make that mountain just some cool stuff there. Maybe a little dark in there. Just some colors. And in some of these, you can work some brown into it. Because you don't want to have pure yellow. Like in here, you can. Some brown. There we go. Kick that into there a little bit. There you get a little bit there. there. A little brown in there to give a little difference. So they look like mountains. How's that look? Those don't look too bad. Okay. Looking good. Now let me try something different. Okay, we're gonna get some green. I got some green and some blue. Where's that green at? This color we had. Okay, get some brown in there. There'll be some distant trees. Oop, some brown in there. That yellow. Okay, get some more yellow ochre. Because it in blue make a good green. Right there. Hopefully you can still see that. Okay, grab some more of that. Mix it in there. Want a yucky. Okay. And we're just gonna come over in here and throw some trees. Look, might have to let this dry a little bit. A little wet still. Let's see if we darken it up. Some blue in there. And just start tapping. Okay. I'm just going to tap them. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. I want to kill all the background, but. Okay, we're just going to put some of these in. 
And you can come in and do this. Bring them all the way down. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. Just kind of throw them in. Put them down into the foreground. Okay. There might be some ground here. There. See? You can go back there, grab a little blue, and just do little things. You know, just kind of rock them in. You can see. Yeah, those aren't too bad. You need to be a little darker. A little more blue in there, maybe. There, that's right. There we go. That ochre and blue give us some green. There we go. And this just tapping with this brush works great. You come down this way. There. And you can kind of make these little trees stick out. I don't know. Not sure how I'm going to do it. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can get a little more green in there. Watch this. This is green. It's going to give us a little more indication there. Pull that out. There we go. Give us a little more green in there. there. Get some brown so it doesn't look earth it down a little bit. There. And then over here, you can come in and do the same thing. Oh, that looks good. See? And just tapping with this brush. down. You don't always need to do trees with a fan brush, trust me. Okay. There. And this is a little darker. I like this color better over here. You can pull up. Oof. Pull them down. Okay. And you can come in here and just do this. Okay. Touching. Be loose with your brush. Back and forth. Okay. Back and forth. Give them some indications. Some little up here you want to over here and do this. That goes up a little bit higher. Just tapping. And then down here we can kind of look pretty good. Yeah. There we go. Trees. Okay. There you got some foreground trees. And then we're going to come down here and maybe a little bit of green there. A little more green down here. That looks pretty good at the base of these. You know, you're gonna have trees and stuff. Pull those that way. See that? That's kind of what we want. Okay, maybe there's a little. I'm changing this around from the original one, but maybe there's some trees here. You know, you can have one there. It's kind of maybe this comes down, and then this side get some brown in there comes down, green, you know, there, Let's throw a few more trees in here, that one, you just go like this with them too, you don't have to tab, you just go back and forth, they look like good little trees, okay, then you can go over here, do another one maybe, there, you can have a little fun stuff, tap, 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 and then just go like this, If it looks good, I might come down here, you know, one here, see one sticking out there. And then you just go back and forth again, like I was doing. You can tap them in, or you can just go side to side. They look pretty good that way, too, though. See, you don't have to hit everyone, you can leave them a little airy. Okay, because that's what you're looking for some little ground here, right? And leave some holes in there. That's a good way to do it going side to side, right? And then which things coming up here and there. There. That could just be a little bush sitting right there. There. You got a little landscape painting. Okay. Now we've got that done. I might want to go over here. There. Do this. Bring this up a little bit more. And then this one we can come in and do the same thing, you know. Maybe a tree. Filling in. I don't want to kill all the mountain, but I think that looks pretty good up there. Pull that way. And just get loose with the trees. There. And this one. Don't you think? Brown in there. And do the same thing with this one. Just kind of pull him over. Be loose. Now pull those this way. There. 
looks good. Little trees in there. Okay. And you can come in. Okay. And I got Mr. Liner Brush over here that I saved from yeah, a while back. I'm gonna grab some brown. Mix some my color in there, yellow ochre. I don't care. Okay, we're gonna just come in and go like this. Little tiny trees, maybe. Okay. Just grabbing some yellow ochre and some brown. Okay. Little indications of tree trunks here and there. Put them up here. Just little things happening. Grab some white so they stand out a little more. Yeah. Maybe there's some trunks sticking up there. There. Nice little, I don't know. Ah, and it's just a nice little way to. Nice little painting. Maybe you want to grab some white. Oh, white. I'm running out of white. Yep, back in there. Okay, something that might stand out with the liner brush. Great right back here. Something back here to give a little indication of some. See that? Some land on the bottom. Break it up a little bit. See, and you always can put the land can go up a little higher. There, you got kind of some little some different things happening there. Okay, now let's go back in and finish this up. Okay, and I want to get some, some good color. Okay, now I'm going to take and some, mix this that yellow. I don't know if that yellow ochre would do it, so I'm going to take some of this yellow. Oh, that's more than I needed. It's a bright yellow. Grab that, get a little green, get some of that yellow, pull it down. Okay, we're gonna come in and highlight these trees a little bit more than they are, okay? I'm gonna knock a little of that paint off because I don't want a ton of it on there. We're just gonna come in and kind of just tap them. Okay. Just get some of that yellow in there. Give them highlights. You know. Yeah, see? A little bit back in there, not much. Ooh. Just pull back and forth, darker at the bottom. Don't let them come to the bottom. These little guys here just barely make it. Highlights in there, just to give an indication. Okay, over here. See, I'm just kind of wisping back and forth. Leave the dark spots in there, okay? Dark spots. These are bigger here. Dark at the bottom. Don't go all the way to the bottom. There, just pull. See that? Pull the side strokes. There. There's a little grass here. No, a little grass coming up. Just blend it in. Pull that up if you need to. You know, tapping up here and there. There, you got some trees. Trees. Got a little more color. You can tell they're trees. You got mountains. And you've got some nice little tree indications down there, okay? So, I think that's going to do it for tonight. Relaxing way to finish the night. I'm going to take some of this pink, whatever color it is, right here. I'm going to sign this one. Go to L. C. There it is. So I hope you had a good day and thanks for watching. And this is a great way to wind down at night. And uh, this will dry in a few minutes. And thanks for watching. Uh, don't, don't forget to subscribe and like, share if you do. And I appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful evening.